Hello, Sam here with jbugs.com. Our 1971 Super Beetle restoration is moving along well, and with most of the chassis components squared away, we're going to get to work on the interior. Before we start with the biggest obstacle inside, the headliner, we're going to install hush mat ultra insulation from the top of our car to the bottom. The insulation is easy to install and reduces heat and vibration to create a cooler and quieter interior. An added bonus is the black finish of the insulation doesn't stand out, so it's perfect for floors or trunks where it may not be covered with upholstery or carpet. We aren't covering every square inch of the interior, although it certainly wouldn't hurt. We'll install the hush mat on all the accessible, single layer surfaces in areas near heat or noise. We don't have to wipe the surface down with alcohol or acetone, as is required with other similar products. So we begin our installation at the roof, laying out the first piece, pulling off the backing, and then we use a few different widths of rollers and a plastic trim tool in tight areas to flatten out the insulation and ensure that it has a good bond to the metal. As we work forward on the roof, we get to the front and we trim down the insulation with a pair of scissors. The hush mat is easy to cut and doesn't have or leave a sharp edge, so you don't have to wear gloves while handling the material. Once we've got the roof covered, we move to the rear of the car and install the insulation on the rear luggage tray, below the rear window, and the front edge of the luggage shelf. We make sure to cut the openings for the seatbelt mounts and continue sticking the insulation in all the nooks and crevices all the way to the floor pan. Then insulation is installed on the left and right fender wells to finish up the rear of the car. We move forward in the body into the quarter panels and after scraping down the loose pieces of the original tar board, as even VW knew the benefits of sound insulation, we cut pieces of hush mat to fit and install them in the quarter panel openings. We continue the installation at the front firewall and up the right inner fender well. And since we'll be using speaker kick panels, we covered the heater channel at the bottom side. On the left side of the firewall, we use some scraps from our installation to show that there's no need to toss all the small pieces of material. They're just as effective as a large piece. And once they're rolled out, it's hard to tell the area was actually patched together. Once the left side is complete, we move to the chassis and install hush mat on the tunnel, making sure to cut the mat for the shifter, our clutch cable access hole, and we even apply the insulation on the cover plate for our access. The holes for the seatbelt mounts are cut out, and as we lay the insulation in place in front of the shift coupler access, we make sure not to cover the VIN number. Hush mat is installed on the cover plate before it's installed, and then we'll move to the floor pans. We install the insulation on the right floor pan, all the way back to the rear luggage shelf. We cover the passenger side footrest, and before we set it in place, we add a piece of hush mat to the front of the chassis firewall. A very non-scientific knock test demonstrates the difference in sound between a panel that's insulated and the one that isn't. The sound from the hush mat coated panel is much more solid sounding and doesn't echo or have a hollow, tinny sound. Once the left floor pan is fully insulated and the doors are installed, we scrape off all the loose insulation and install three sheets of the hush mat into each of our doors. At the rear of the doors, we cut out for the door handles and a plastic trim tool helps to ensure a good bond higher up in the doors where applying pressure by hand or with a roller isn't possible. And now that we've got the hush mat installed, we'll add a little bit more insulation, or more specifically padding, in our next video. That will be coming out soon. In the meantime, click the like button below, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and when you need parts or accessories for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.